Scott here. Welcome to New Tech Old Toys, where we're taking a look at the latest technology, gadgets, and resources for your home, entertainment, and office computing spaces. Computer, networking, audio, video, even filmmaking tools and resources. We'll even have an occasional vintage deeper dive into retro computer and video game systems. There's a lot of ground to cover. I hope you enjoy and that it's informative. Let's get started. So, what we have today is the Samsung T7 portable SSD. It's a fast external storage. It's supposed to be twice as fast as its predecessor, the T5. I really hope that's the case. I'm really looking forward to a faster workflow. Writing is supposed to be quick. Reading is supposed to be quick. Let's open this box up and see what we have inside. It's super small, it's portable, it's lightweight. Let's see what we have in here. The Samsung T7. Aha, oh, nice box. Dun, 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 dun. There it is, the Samsung T7. So this is supposed to be the, the main gazane. Samsung Portable SSD T7. This is not an IP rated device, so this is not a waterproof or proven to be waterproof, but it is a solid metal casing, but there is the data port right there. It looks beautiful. It's got a really nice feel and finish to it. One terabyte, T7, USB 3.2, generation two, Samsung T7, one terabyte. What we have here is something that has been shock rated for up to two meters of impact. So you can drop it. You don't have to baby it. It's for as light and small as it is. It seems rather rugged. Now, I'm told that it even comes with the cables. For the price, I'm grateful it comes with the cables. Let's see what we got here. Well, again, the packaging looks quite nice. Okay, awesome. It looks like it has two different cables. We have USB-C to USB-C. We also have a USB-C to USB-A. We're looking at some pretty high-speed stuff here. Its predecessor, the T5, was known for transfer rates in the 500 megabyte per second range for reading and writing. And this is rated for transfer rates in the 1050 megabyte per second reading up to and up to 1000 megabyte per second writing. Um, the USB 3.2 generation two standard bus can support up to 10 gigabit per second. So this drive should move along very fast on the bus and there should still be room for other peripherals monitors to uh, scoot along and, and deliver their data nicely as well. So that is nice. That's a real nice, very flexible, but very thick and solid USB-C to USB-A cable. That is a nice wire. I like that. I won't be using it much. We're going to take a look and see what these transfer rates look like on the, the latest MacBook Pro. So let's take a look and have a little deeper dive into this product here and see what it's going to do for us. Thank you. Um, Okay, so right now we're looking at a MacBook Pro 2020 13 inch with a 10th generation i7 CPU, 32 gigs of RAM and one terabyte of SSD hard drive soldered onto the motherboard. So these write and read performance specs are phenomenal. They are 2400 plus megabyte per second writing 
2100 plus megabyte per second reading on the embedded hard drive or the SSD chips on again the MacBook Pro 2020 13 inch with an i7 10th generation and it's rocking so it's moving quite fast you can see now the black magic disk speed test is reporting about 2400 plus megabyte per second writing and about 2000 2100 plus megabyte per second reading it's really screaming so pretty phenomenal performance there we're going to go to our external bus through the thunderbolt we're hoping to get more than one, two, three, four, five hundred megabyte per second. We're hoping to get closer to the thousand uh, that the drive is rated for. The bus is rated for 10 gigabit per second, but that's a Thunderbolt versus a USB-C generation 3.2 Gen 2 device. So let's take a look at the target device being the T7 by Samsung. Let's hit open there. Let's kick that test off and see how much beyond 500 we can get here. So are we hitting 1,000? No, we're hitting 827 megabytes per second writing. 891 megabytes per second reading. That's pretty darn sweet. That has got to be the fastest external hard drive or SSD drive transfer I've ever had for a home computing system. This thing is rocking. It is in the mid, low to mid 800 megabyte per second writing and mid to upper 800 megabyte per second reading on that Samsung T7 USB 3.2 Gen 2 standard plugged into the MacBook Pro 2020 13 inch Thunderbolt 3 port. Thunderbolt is moving some data pretty nicely here. It's really rocking it. I'm pretty pleased. I think I'm gonna hold on to this. I'm glad I didn't hold on to the old T5 that I was out shopping for the other day. I did some product reviews, saw the T7 performance online, thought, oh, you know, that's worth the 30, 40 more dollars. So in the long run, a one terabyte for a great sale right now at Best Buy. So I got it for $30 off. So $169 and look at that performance for an external hard drive. That just screams. So I think I found a new hard drive for my audio and video clips. I think I'm going portable and uh, freeing up the hard drive space on my local computer now. Thanks to the Samsung T7 with one terabyte and USB-C generation two, the USB 3.2 standard. Hey, thanks again for watching. I hope this was useful and informative. I hope that this helps you if you're taking a look at this product or considering other devices. I would not say I'm getting a full twice as fast writing and reading. I'm probably getting about 80 to 85% faster writing and reading on this external device, which sounds like a great value to me. Thanks again for viewing into New Tech Old Toys subscribe, like, all the standard stuff. Uh, go for it because there's a lot more content coming. I hope this has been informative for you and thank you again for watching.